So we've just created a class. Now it's time to add some assignments. As you can see, the Learning Center is prompting you to do so by hitting this button right here. I'll click it, and I'm taken to the list of titles that you can add assignments for. We have a very long list of assignments, as you can see, and it's pretty extensive. It even includes, if I scroll down really quickly here, our novels. Okay, We have categories for the novels, vocabulary, reading, English and grammar, and uh, of special note are these assessments. We have reading assessments, one vocabulary assessment, and two grammar assessments. Those are very popular. I'm going to scroll down here. Actually, we can search the titles by typing in this box. So let me search for 10 steps. As you can see, we have a lot of titles with 10 steps in them. I'm going to pick the skills bank because it's pretty large and we're really proud of what it can accomplish. I haven't set a time zone yet on my account, so this is now prompting me to set my time zone. Because if I put post dates and due dates in my assignments, it was important what time zone I'm in. We're in Eastern. I'll click OK. So I've set my time zone and now I'm going to pick some exercises. I'll pick main ideas and you'll see we have exercises and tests in many levels. This book is a little bit different from the other titles in the Learning Center because of it being divided in levels, but I wanted to show it because it's, it's a great example. So we have here three exercises. I'll click each one of these, and as you can see, I can put post and due dates in them. Let's make the post date the first day of our class. Now, as you see, these dates are grayed out. I can only pick from April 1st because that's when my class began. I'll just say that the Assignment is ready at, at 8 a.m. And then let's make it due at the end of the first week on Friday. So the students have three days to do this. We'll go with 11.55, the end of the day. I want the other assignments to have the same times, so I can click here to duplicate that. Now, after the exercises are done, I want the students to do these first two tests. So I'll go to the calendar again and pick from, say, Saturday at, let's just go with 8 a.m. again, until Saturday night at 11.55. And both of them should be completed in the same time frame. So now I have five assignments. Three of them are during these days. Two of them are during these days. If I come up here and hit Save Assignments, I'll be taken back to my class and you can see that title is listed now and I have five assignments. You have the option of listing your assignments by post date or by due date. For now let's just list it by title. If you want to edit assignments later you can hit this edit button here and you jump straight into the title you don't have to pick it again. Let's just add a dictionary use exercise with no due dates and hit save. So now you see I have six assignments, but if I go here, there's a note about one assignment not having a due date. Due dates are not necessary, but post and due dates are handy for making assignments visible at a certain time and due by a certain time. If I want to add assignments for another title, I can just click the Add button again, and let's say I want to assign the college reading test. But let's also say, now as you can see, there's only one assignment here because this title only has this one test in it. I want to assign it on the first day of class. It doesn't matter when, so I'll put, put 12 a.m. And I want it due by the end of that day. I can set a time limit. The recommended time would be 50 minutes. Let's say I think my students uh, should be able to do this within 45 minutes. So I set 45 minutes. There's a preview button here in case you want to look over the assignments before students take them. And I'll just hit click Add Assignment. Speaking of previews, if I go in to edit the assignments I've added before, there's a preview icon there for the same purpose of looking over the questions. Now, I don't want to change any assignments, so what do I do? I'll just hit Save Assignments and I'll go back to the class page. Last thing I wanted to show you is the student view. If you click on this, you can 
view the class as the students do. Students will see a list of the titles where you have assignments. If you click on, on the assignment, I'll click on here and see we have one exercise available now because it's not April 1st yet. But if I go to all assignments, I can see that I have these assignments will post on April 1st and these will post on April 4th. They will be due by April 3rd and this will be due on April 4th by the end of the day. I can go back to the class by just hitting the back button. And there we go. Thank you.